All right, we're going to go back to a story we told you at the very top of the broadcast about the coronavirus spreading globally. And Wuhan City has been on lockdown for slightly more than one month, given that it was the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak that has now seen thousands of people infected. And while there are still 80 Kenyan students stuck in Wuhan, there are those who are lucky to have traveled back to Kenya before the lockdown began. Raquel Moigai was with one such student, Victor and here is that story. Kumajina ni Angelo Victor. I mean, Munafunza Kule One Botanical Garden and ni Umbrella Chinese Academy of Science. I mean, Munamazingira. On the 4th of September 2018, Victor left Kenya for China to begin his master's degree after securing a scholarship from the government of China. Life was ordinary until December last year when the first case of coronavirus was reported in Wuhan. Tulikuwa tumepewa some naweza sema safety measures ya kujikinga kutokana na maambukizi yatokana na ugonjwa wa corona ikiwemo ku hand sanitization kukukuva mask ni moja wapo ambayo tulipewa uh, na ile level of uh, ku travel tulikuwa tumepoa that measure ku usio una travel sana then the virus was not viewed as it is now and as usual victor had planned to spend his holiday in the country before returning to china however his arrival here is one he counts as a lucky pass for him niliweza kusafiri tarehe 22 na tarehe nilipofika guanju uh, tarehe 23 nilimpoa uh, your airport uh, Wuhan, that is Tian Airport, ili, ili With the information regarding the virus spreading fast, it was not as easy interacting with people he knew here in the country. That forced him to spend more time in Nairobi before traveling to Kisumu to visit his family. Given that he can't continue with his studies at the time, he now spends his time teaching children about the importance of taking care of the environment. I left my friends there, uh, to which I don't know uh, if they are affected, what will happen. For now, Victor hopes that the situation gets better for the friends he left behind, praying that if a chance presents itself, he will be ready to travel back to finish his studies. But if not, he is ready to request a scholarship transfer that will see him complete his studies here in Kenya. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV, 